When we think of Christian holy days that are filled with joy, Easter and Christmas are generally the first ones we think of. These events shape our faith and give us all great hope. The Ascension of our Lord is one holy day that's frequently overlooked by many, but is one that is filled with just as much joy, hope and peace. Falling 40 days after Easter Sunday, Ascension Day honours Jesus' ascension into heaven. The following reflections will help us contemplate this great celebration of our faith. Jesus informed his apostles that sorrow and grief will be a part of their lives. Unfortunately, at this current time, this is a very realistic statement for many. The good news is that Jesus follows this statement with the hopeful message that their grief will become joy. This is the most important part of what Jesus says, and the same is true in our lives. Jesus does not promise us that our lives will be free from hardship and pain. He does not tell us that following him means that life will be easy. In times of hardship, through faith and hope, we can find strength in our Lord. We can lean on him to guide us and trust that if we surrender all things to him, he will transform it into the joy that he promises in the end. We will lift up a cup and a bread we will break. The ascension is both the end and the beginning. It's a transition to the next phase of God's perfect plan and understanding the way this plan unfolds should leave us in wonder and awe. The apostles were probably frightened and confused. Jesus was with them, then he died, then he rose and he ascended to his father before their eyes. Jesus told them that it is good that he goes. The apostles felt joy, then fear, then relief, then more joy, then confusion, sorrow and uncertainty. Perhaps that's the way some of us find our lives to be. Ups and downs, twists and turns, joys and sorrows. Each part of our lives reveals something new, each with its own challenges. The ascension means that Jesus is now present to each and every one of us whenever we may turn to him. From heaven, Jesus is able to be present to all. He is able to live in us and invites us to live in him. I will kneel in the dust at the foot of the cross when mercy paid for me. Where the wrath I deserve, it is gone, it is past. Your blood has hidden me. Mercy. Today, as the Church, we are called by Christ 
and sent out to proclaim the kingdom of God. And just like the apostles, we are strengthened by the Holy Spirit. We are Christ's witnesses today, and we are called and challenged by Christ, not only to hear the good news of the gospel, but to do whatever we can to share it with others. We do this in our daily lives, in how we speak to each other, treat each other, and love each other. Mercy, mercy. Love